What's up everyone? It's a beautiful day out today. I decided to take a break from doing some emails and just step outside, enjoy the weather, and make a video um, you know, discussing a, a topic that I think is important and is probably affected, I'd say 95% of the people watching this video right now. Um, and that would be hitting a plateau or just getting in a slump and just not really like seeing improvements. Um, this doesn't just apply to cubing, it could be any other hobbies or you know really anything in life. If you're just not really seeing improvements anymore, you might even get slower in some cases. You could just be, you know, just mentally not there and just like mentally fatigued. And there's a few ways that I recommend that have worked for me that you can use to get over this plateau, break through it, or get out of your slump. And they're all pretty simple and they're all very effective in my opinion. So hopefully they'll be able to help out you guys as well. Um, I think that, you know, that plateauing or being in a slump kind of can almost happen if you're cubing too much. You know, if you're just cubing so much that eventually you just can't break through, whether it be the sub 20 barrier or whatever. Um, so what you wanna do, this is probably the easiest method and it can be tough, but uh, switch arms. But um, the, the thing you wanna do is just take a step back, just take a break, just let it go. This could be for a couple days, it could be for a couple weeks. You know, everybody's different, and everybody will adapt differently. But I think that the key is just to just relax, focus on different parts of your life. It could be school, it could be another hobby, you know, whatever. Just take a step back and relax, and then whenever you go to pick back up cubing, chances are you'll be able to break through your plateau um, or your slump. If you're trying to break through a plateau, practice is also important because you need to you know, improve. But I think that sometimes just dialing back and just relaxing and not being so wrapped around and just consumed by this goal of breaking through your plateau can be really healthy for you mentally and just a really good way just to relax. Because you know, chances are, if you're trying to break this plateau, and you're just you know constantly like getting slow or whatever. Like there's been times where when I um I was averaging like you know tens or whatever. Let's say um, I'll pick up a cube and I'm averaging like 15s or 11s or 12s. You know whatever. There's just bad days. Everybody has just bad days and they happen. So it's just important. You know I find that if I set the cube down for a week usually, and when I come back and pick it back up. I'll be just as fast, if not even faster than I was before I took my break. So I think that taking breaks is really powerful. Now the second way that you can potentially get over this would be switch it up. You know, you don't have to stop cubing, but just switch to maybe four by four, do five by five, do pyraminx, you know, just do a different event and just focus on that. For me, practicing four by four has worked because I love four by four. If you follow me for a while, you know it's my favorite event. Um, because when you're practicing 4x4, four four, for example, you're practicing your look ahead a lot, so you're focusing on that, and also, um, it's just, it's a different event. So, when I found when I practiced 4x4 four four a lot, I improved on that, so it helped me get more competitive in 4x4, four four. and then when I went back to 3x3, three three, my look ahead was so improved from tracking all the pieces during edge pairing and stuff like that, that I was faster at 3x3, three three, and it was just so much easier. So. Also, what I like about 4x4 four four is when I was doing a 3x3 three three solve stage, um, you can't move a 4x4 four four as fast as a 3x3. Three three. Now with more modern 4x4s, four you're faster, but still not quite as fast. So it helps you, it kind of forces you to turn a little bit slower and look ahead a little bit more. So I think that, you know, pretty much taking a break and maybe switching to a different event are probably the two best ways that you'll find that you can get over a slump or break through a plateau. Um, pretty much it's really all I have on that topic. I think that it's kind of a, it's a really varying situation because it depends on the person, lots of variables. But I think that if you give one of those two a try, um, it should work for you. So let me know if you've hit a plateau or if you hit a slump, how you got through it, what you used to break through it, and if you decide if you have one maybe right now, um, try out one of these methods. Let me know how it works for you. I'd really love to hear um, about your success story. So, um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hope this was informative and have a good rest of the day.